My name is Connor Shanahan. I'm 15, and this is my professional drift car. Drifting is my life, and I want to prove to myself that I can come on top this season, beating the strongest drivers in the European Superstar Series. But it's not going to be easy. One of my strongest rivals is my brother Jeff. Yeah, your older and more talented brother. <laughs> Together we're going to take you behind the scenes of our journey and expose the highs and lows while travelling as a family throughout Europe. And of course, have some fun along the way. It has taken a lot of family effort to get where we are today. Our family has put everything on the line. And we are not stopping here. History is the making. You're watching The Shanahan's. What's up everyone? Welcome back to episode 14 of The Shanahan's. It's the week rolling on to Jaff Fest. This one's a really big one for us. Two events, the last round of the Drift Games Extreme Championship and the last round of the Drift Masters Championship. A really important weekend for us. Championship standings are in the play. Everything else is in the play. 10,000 of a home crowd. It's good to come home. So yeah, it's a really important one for us. Our family will be there. All our team will be there who built the cars with us. So we want to do uh, very good at that event. Jack is now working on the cars. He's getting them ready for the weekend. So on the last episode, we've done a Q&A, which we really enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. There was a lot of questions about our new race truck. So, so I'll give you a quick look at it. So our truck is a 2010 man. It's a uh, a metallic grey. So basically, got the truck as a box body, like a delivery truck, turn it into like a full living camper and stuff inside, which I'll show you later. Makes our travels a lot easier as we do everything as a family. It's all like, you know, comfort for mom and dad also. So it's really important to us. Makes everything easier, loading in, getting the cars and stuff. And yeah, it's, it's obviously quite nice looking as well. So yeah, as we move up the truck, we got um, some lockers, so some stuff like for drinks and stuff. So like, for example, this locker, storing some Red Bull. One of the coconut ones, which is really good. And yeah, stuff like that. All the lockers are like that. There's one, two, three, four on this side, same on the other side. Then as we move it down, more towards the form of the drift car. So we're a mechanics kind of workout. So we've got a full toolbox in here. And then it's done off two more toolboxes, which are in the back, which roll out onto the where the paddock is. Unfortunately, I can't let down the door to show you the guys, show you guys the back of it, but in the back it's like seven foot garage and some lockers for storage and stuff and then all across the roof like three foot down so it's like a fall roof inside there's like full storage for all wheels so you can fit like a hundred wheels or, so, or something up there and it's a lot of questions we get asked because there's no car in this one so a lot of people ask where can you get all the spares but this is probably the most storage we've had on any truck so you're probably wondering where do you fit two race cars so one of our awesome sponsor wood for trailers hooks us up with a really nice trailer which is a double decker shuttle unbelievable makes our travel so much easier again uh, so the trailer hitches onto the back of the truck drive one car in lifts up and another car goes underneath it you can also fit some stuff in that so yeah it's uh, it's a perfect combination you got the truck and then you got an awesome trailer on behind it so yeah that's the outside now we're going to go in and i'm going to give you a look at the inside how cool is this this is like uh our second home on wheels it got everything we need we got a fridge but we still need to stock up for jack first man will be doing that tomorrow before we leave got a freezer got some stuff for cooking got even an oven this thing has everything so we've got some forks and knives for eating, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, got some plugs, charging phones. When you get to the track, you can plug this into the mains or else use a generator. Got a TV also. Uh, need to connect an Xbox or something to this. Um, yeah, like the stuff, storage all over. Mom will be having this place absolutely jam-packed before we leave tomorrow. Um, if I get a chance, I'll show you how full this thing is. It's crazy when we're going to an event. Um, yeah, got a bed up here which is like a double bed, which you can sleep like three people, really comfortable. And then, yeah, got an aircon unit. Over in Europe, it's really hot, so it's good to like, me and Jack can just come in here, get a drink and just relax a bit before we go back out again, like in between battles and stuff. Got some more storage, some you wear race suits and stuff go, more storage down along the bottom, and then, yeah. So in here is like the living quarters. We've got two bunks, which a person will sleep each. Uh, and yeah, some chargers and stuff in there for charging phones. Fortunately, the battery was not finished yet. We just ran out of time, but we'll get that finished after Jeff Fest. And then this is the main reason why we built the truck, because as I said, mom and dad come over with us. So they want as much com comfort as possible. And yeah, this is like, this is where they sleep. It's like one bedroom to another bedroom. It's a full 
top of size bed, two people sleep in there, no problem. Mom and dad are really comfortable, mom can get dressed and stuff in the morning, have some privacy, um, got a mirror and a lot of storage and stuff for her clothes, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is definitely probably the main reason why we built this truck, but it's incredible because when you get to the events, you know, you're like stressing out and stuff and then you unpack everything then you have to get in the car either drive to a hotel or else you're staying in a van which is not that comfortable whereas here you unpack everything you're here you you know once you get to the track you don't have to move also you gotta lie in, in the morning if there's an early briefing instead of everyone else getting up out of the hotel and getting a shower and stuff so that's it that's the race truck what we travel around all over europe in and yeah comment let us know what we're missing tell us we just moved in if you think we're missing anything or we t you think anything would improve the truck let us know we're going to be doing some work for for next year so yeah, that's the truck. Let's go check out what Jack's doing. I'm sure he's busy at the cars, getting them ready. So now we're on the way to a very busy garage, I think, from the noise. I haven't met up with Jack today yet, so I'm gonna see what he's up to. Um, Mitch Larner is also here, who has came all the way from Australia back again to do the last round of World Championship. So he ran into some problems, so of course we're gonna help him out. So he's also in the garage getting some work done, getting ready for the weekend. Yeah, my car is on the lift. Jack's car is there. We're gonna see what Jack's up to. Yo, Jack. Are you good? Right, oh. What are you up to? Fixing your hair. Always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so just finish you up. What do you do today? You get the roll around the back. Make up the braces for the subframe because it was flexing. Welded them in. Had to change the front wheel bearing. Okay. There was an oil leak. Get that changed now. Better check. It's done. Um, so this car is nearly ready to go? Yeah, so. Obviously, I had, wash it. I had the subframe down and stuff to get the oh, yeah, on. So on. That was like three spanner checks to put in my hand to get it. Uh, What's your box? What's your box? Uh, just spanner check. Just spanner check? Yeah. Have you got that? Tidy so, up some things? Yeah, just need to try making a few plates for the one part, I don't think I can get it fixed, but if I were that guy. Okay. Both ready? More yeah, or less. More, more or less. less. So, just Excited get for the weekend? this thing washed and stuff. Excited? Yeah. Are you nervous? Very. <laughs> Very. Shit, a lot is online. Yeah. <laughs> Very nervous. I usually don't really get nervous, but um, I don't really think about it. Take it definitely. So as I said, Mitch was here, ran into some problems on the dyno. Mm -hmm. Like always, you're always breaking stuff. Even before you get in the truck, you break more stuff than he does on the track. Yeah, we just had the car on the dyno on uh, Tuesday, and the tail shaft exploded on the dyno. It's another eventful weekend in the... In Ireland. Got most of the things up, just got a new tail shaft and stuff, so we'll get it in there and then ready to kick some ass on the weekend. What do you reckon? Yeah, boy. Let's go. Cool. Hopefully, this guy doesn't get in the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're all going to qualify one, two, and three. No specific order. <laughs> There's definitely a specific order. So, I mean, oh. <laughs> Five minutes later. So, I have to change out of these clothes, get some work clothes on, wash some drift cars before we leave to go for Jaffa's tomorrow, but you know what? Can't resist playing a few laughs on the simulator. So, this is my simulator. It's nothing fancy. Probably expected like a million dollar simulator, but it's not. I just uh, have a Trustmaster T500 RS wheel shifter. Joystick is a handbrake, which is broke, so it's quite complicated. So if you see me doing this a lot, it doesn't mean I'm upshifting. So that's downshift, that's the handbrake, and then I have upshift here. I have an S14 on the track, what I'm using for the weekend. DCGP, which is a uh, really good cars in this game. Really enjoyable game. I really, really, really love playing this game. Helps me a lot. I've probably been playing simulator games now for five years. So pretty much since I started and learned everything I know off them. But uh, other than that, it's just helps me to keep in the keep in the mind of what I'm doing. So yeah, I'll give you a quick few laughs. This is the track from the weekend. So yeah, rolling start around the first little corner, then full throttle down the straight, first, second, third, bang four, big flick entry, big angle onto the first wall, slow it up, then stay out of the second wall. You have to be really careful there with the left foot braking, kind of helps the car to settle. Then transition back, bang forward again for the long pull up. Into the roundabout, this one, you need to be really careful because you drop wheels. You need to put on a big angle, third gear on the roundabout, then a very fast transition back, bang forward again, stay on full throttle, bit of left foot braking, keep the car in, pass that inside clip, transition back onto the last corner. You need to be careful once you get sucked into the wall there and then full throttle over the finish line. Really exciting track to drive and really, really scary track in real life, I think. <laughs> So this track is going back to the Global Warfare one, which Jack won in 2015. Uh, the year before that, I remember spectating in the grandstand and uh, he had a massive crash into Moss Cody's drift car. Probably the scariest moment I've ever watched in drift. I remember just him coming in past the grandstand, came off power and just went bang on the car. 
was absolutely reckless. Probably one of the worst crashes in Irish drifting, I'd say. It was, it was nuts. But yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen to us this weekend. Um, but it is quite a scary, scary track, but it's good. I think it'll separate um, the boys from the men, definitely. It's, it's a track where you need to just be able to push really, really hard, but not push too hard at the same time, because it's a track you can easily, easily make a big mistake. So especially with championships and stuff for that. At the line, people will be under pressure and maybe will fall under, fall under pressure and make mistakes, but hopefully that's not the case. Okay, maybe I should now change my clothes into work clothes. Get outside, wash the S15 and maybe wash the GTA 6 tonight. Yeah, let's go.